Mixed martial arts legend Frank Shamrock has headlined some of the biggest events in the history of the sport. And while retired from fighting, he's very much on the scene, especially in his hometown of San Jose. Life in retirement. Yeah, that's um, it's everything I ever dreamed of. I spend the days with my daughter and hiking and I've got the dream job. I commentate for Showtime as a sports analyst for uh, Showtime Sports and for Strike Force. And um, I do a lot of charity work. I do a lot of community work. And I don't wrestle and sweat all day. <laughs> but on this day, when he took us to the American Kickboxing Academy, we did see UFC heavyweight champion Cain Velasquez. Uh, you know, San Jose has been a mecca for mixed martial arts since I came here in 1997. But it's just taken on a life of its own now. Uh, Cain Velasquez, of course, is the UFC heavyweight champion. And I don't know how to describe it. I mean, when we opened this, this academy here at AKA here in South San Jose, there was a line that went for about a quarter of a mile. People have just galvanized and followed Cain because he's Hispanic, he's from San Jose. He, I mean, he really came, his father was, you know, a, a worker in the fields and he wrestled his way up to college and he's, he's captured kind of the average guy's attention on what you can do if you close these and open up this and find a great place to train. The fight night's going to be exciting. I really can't wait right now. You know, we're just kind of building up still. Fight still feels like it's long away, but, you know, um, I'm getting ready for it, and I feel like I'm ready even now. And Velasquez trains at AKA with one of the best in the business, Javier Mendez. Right now we're training for a stand-up boxer. Um, Junior Dos Santos is a great boxer. He has great um, technique. He has great power. He has great takedown defense. Um, we're working on all that stuff. He, he's really polished in all those areas, so we really got to have our stand-up game really strong on that night. And AKA has another specialty, finding and working with the next big names in the sport. One of which to watch out for is Mark Ellis, a wrestler who's come to the Bay Area from Missouri. Well, Mark Ellis was a two-time wrestling champion, so he's got a great ground base. And then the American Kickboxing Academy, of course, is known for their striking and mixing up the mixed martial arts to be a complete game. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm here, because, you know, you got uh, the UFC heavyweight champion in Cain Velasquez, you have Daniel Cormier, you have you got a lot of big, good guys, and um, and Javier Mendez as, as a head coach. And so, uh, I mean, this is the place to be, and that's why I came here. You know, I've, I've, I've had success in college wrestling. I was a couple-time All-American and won a national title. And so, you know, I, I figured this was the place to be and um, to get ready for my uh, fighting career. Yeah, Mark Ellis has picked up this, uh, this style of, of training, you know, really well. Um, his stand-up's coming along. He's going to be the next guy, you know, that you see later on down the road that's going to be a big star in this, in this, uh, in this, in this sport. They take their challenges big here, and um, they say he's the next big thing. And he's big. <laughs> and staying on top of who's next is critical to Frank's current role as a commentator on a national stage. The thing I love most about commentating, and especially with Showtime, is A, they let me do whatever I want, and then B, what I want to do is talk about fighting in the moment. Before me, Fighting was about this being there and touching the gloves and really feeling it. And now for me, it's about trying to be as honest as I can in that very moment so that people can feel the passion and feel how I view it and see it, you know, in the most technical way possible. Which is no doubt important because it's an ever growing audience with a tremendous passion for the sport. Well, mixed martial arts is still a young sport. You gotta remember it's 1993 was kind of the birth of it. So we were not that far along in San Jose. I came here in 1997 and when I came here, San Jose was a very established martial arts community. We had judo champions, Mike Swain. We had kickboxing champions, Javier Mendez. But it had never combined it all. And I'd love to say that I was the, the creator of it all, but I wasn't. I was just here when sort of the movement came and by teaching and training and kind of getting the community together to think a different way. It's become the number one, number two place in the world. And now if you want to train in real mixed martial arts, you go to the American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose. It's like, that's how you do it. And I think the other thing too is, it's always been a fighting community. Boxing is really big and still popular here. They still do great shows at the arena. But it's never been, you know, we've never had a sport. And, you know, I brought the first professional mixed martial arts team to San Jose. We had the San Jose Razor Claws in 2009. It was awesome. And, you know, we've just slowly been growing to be one of those spots. Truly a Bay Area success story, as the world's best have flocked to Northern California to hone their skills and spread the word of how MMA brings together so many disciplines in a sport that's constantly evolving. 
Well, as a complete sport, you've got the greatest athletes in the world. And the reason why is you've got to train in wrestling, boxing, kickboxing, judo, jiu-jitsu, sambo. You've got to train in every combative and contesting martial art just to be just to be on par with the regular guys in this sport. So it really is a creme de la creme of all the martial arts combined. And then when you talk about athleticism, a championship fight is five five-minute rounds. That's 25 minutes of straight fighting with a minute break in between. But the average street fight lasts 20 seconds. These guys are disciplined, professional martial artists that spend, you've seen them, they spend all day in the gym, <laughs> they work themselves to the bone, and most of them will achieve nothing more than having an incredible being of self and accomplishment that I can defend myself, I've done this, I've done that, and some of them will become superstars. To me, the compelling part of the sport is that human element, that you can test yourself inside, both physically, mentally, and even spiritually, and go into battle, mano a mano, with another man, and test yourself as to what you are and what you believe in. And for some people, that's a journey of a lifetime. For some people, it's a butt kicking. Which brings home the point that unlike other sports, people at various levels can train in the same gyms where champions train. But what makes a champion is an entirely different story. Well, everybody has their chance. That's the beauty of mixed martial arts. Everybody has a shot to become a superstar. And there's a lot of elements that are going to get you from point A to point B. A lot of it is self-awareness, understanding what to do on the camera, when to do it, how to do it, you know, how to treat your fans, how to treat the media. And a lot of it's luck. Because in this, one punch, one kick, one knee, and everything changes. And you're, you're losing instead of winning. So that, that is a lot of what the human compel compelling side is, because you can be on this incredible journey, and all of a sudden trip and fumble, and then everyone goes either, well, I don't believe it, or they go, hey, I'm with him, and he can do it. That's the sport.